we're looking at the deep erector spiny muscles of the back. If you remember back, we looked at the superficial ones, and that was the longissimus running down here. And if you remember, that was made up of a whole lot of vertical fibers, which helped you arch your back. Now, if you strip those away, and you now go deeper, you come to the deep muscles, the deep erector muscles at the back. And what happens is the deeper you go, the shorter the muscles become, and the more horizontal they become, until you get right down to muscles called the multifidae, and then you get deeper than that to little, tiny little muscles called the rotatories. And these muscles run from one vertebra to the other, just across like that, at each level. And what they do is they stabilize each joint at each level of the spine. So they're really important little muscles. They're not strong, but they're strong enough to stabilize. That's all they do. They're strong enough to stabilize, and they, if it contracts, it will just cause a tiny little bit of rotation at each segment. So these muscles are very, very important in terms of stability in your spine. If you make a movement and the movement goes slightly further than the segment is used to, each joint, which is what's called the facet joint, the little facet joint will glide at each level. And as it moves and it goes slightly further than it's comfortable, the capsule of the joint will stretch. And as the capsule stretches, it will send a message out to the rotatories and the multifidae, which will go into a protective spasm. And what you'll feel is a localized deep ache, which is right over the area, right over the segment that is, that is affected. Now, this happens many times during a day. You might feel a little twinge, and most of the time it just settles. But, and quite often, what will happen is you go too far, you may feel a click or a bit of a discomfort, and then you feel a spasm, and that spasm is deep inside, and it's quite localized. And that is the rotatories and, and the multifidae going into spasm as a protective spasm, and if that spasm lasts, it turns on trigger points in the muscle, which then stay there in protective spasm, just ready to jump to jump into action the moment you do any movement which threatens them in any way. So they are very, very common. And again, if you were to go and visit a chiropractor or someone who just does manipulation, they will do a little crack and you'll feel a movement in your facet joints. Sometimes that is enough to switch off the protective spasm or the triggers in the multivity, but sometimes it isn't. And then what you need to have done is something to turn off the trigger points. And that's something we'll look at a little bit later. So trigger points can occur anywhere along the spine at any segment. And as an example, say there's a segment here, which is grumpy, the facet joint has moved outside its normal motion range, then what will happen is that you will get a pain which is local, like this, and which may spread either slightly down or may sp spread out like this. It's a segmental pain. And this can occur at any level in the spine. You perceive it as a deep pain and you perceive it as stiffness. So as you try and rotate higher up or as you try and extend or do any kind of movement which involves that segment, you will turn on the trigger points in the deep paraspinal muscles in that segment.